everyone, welcome back to the Fabrication Shop. In this episode, we are going to start working on finishing our Olympus model rocket. Before we start applying paint, we're going to go ahead and fill the wood surfaces on the fins, as well as the small gaps in the body tube where the body tube is wrapped. If you look, you'll see some very small gaps in there. And we want to go ahead and fill those gaps as well as the grain in the balsa wood so that we get a nice smooth finish. This will make our rocket look nicer. It will also give it a more streamlined appearance so the performance should be better. We have everything on our table that we'll need to do this part of our finishing prep. We have our rocket. We have some wood filler, some water for thinning it down a small mixing cup, and a small stir stick to mix it with. A couple very cheap, inexpensive paint brushes that will apply the filler to our rocket. Some toothpicks to help us put the filler in the small gaps on the body tube. And finally, a pair of vinyl gloves. This is just to keep all of it off our fingers and just keep our hands clean. And so with that, Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to mix up our filler. We're using, in this case, Minwax wood filler. It's a water-based filler. And we're just gonna squeeze some of this down into our little cup. Then we'll add just a small amount of water, not a lot. And this will change as we start mixing it together. Okay, so as you can see, it's about the consistency of a thick paint, which should work pretty well for us. And with this, we'll go ahead and start brushing it on our fins. Okay, so we're getting ready to brush our filler onto our fins. I've got a small cup of just plain water so that I can use that to clean my brushes. And I've got a rag so I can clean my brushes off or clean up any spills that may happen. To put this on, simply put some of the filler on a paintbrush and then paint it on. Where it meets the body tube so that you don't have to sand as much, try to keep it off the body tube. You want to make sure that you fill the fin. Don't forget, don't forget to cover the leading edges and trailing edges of your fins. You don't want any bare wood to be showing. The other thing I would say is the smoother you make it now as you put it on, the easier it'll be when it comes time to sand this down. Okay, so we have one side of one fin covered and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do all the rest of our fins now. So there you can see we have a completed fin. We've got
gotten all the edges sealed and we'll go ahead and do the other three fins off camera. We've got all four of our fins filled in. We want to get rid of these gaps caused by the paper tube spirals where they wrap the paper around the tube. Uh, often there's a small gap as the paper gets wrapped around. So what we want to do is we want to fill those gaps and we're going to do that in pretty much the same fashion that we filled our fins. We're going to use the same filler except now you don't need an awful lot of it because all you want to do is just fill, fill that spiral and it doesn't take much. Depending on the model and how big the gaps are, some folks will like to use a toothpick instead of a brush. I've heard where some folks will use an old X-Acto knife blade. Because again, it doesn't take much. You just want to make sure that the filler gets down into that seam and fills it. And then we'll come back and sand all this down. And that's basically all there is to it. We'll go ahead and finish filling the rest of the seams off camera. All our fins now have filler on them. All our spiral openings have filler. And you may notice that even our launch lug has been filled. The launch lug is really just a small version of a body tube. It's made with spiral bound paper as well and it has the gaps. So go ahead and to really give you a nice overall finish to your model, go ahead and fill the launch lug. Now as the filler begins to dry, you may find that there are small spots that you've missed um, that show the bare wood or that show the spiral gap. If you see those, simply take some of the filler and go back and fill in those areas. Typical areas that you may find this are where joints come together uh, right along where the fin meets the body tube but you may also find it right smack dab in the middle of a fin that somehow it simply didn't get covered. Simply go back Fill that area in. A couple things about filling. You may find that as you do this, that the filler begins to thicken in your little cup. If that happens, just add a couple drops of water, stir it in real good so that you get back to the consistency you had to begin with. You may also find that the brush begins to get uh, stiff and hardened because of the filler that's in between the bristles of the brush. When that happens, simply clean the brush off with water and then you can go back to putting your filler back on your model. I tend to do my fins first and then do the spirals. And one of the reasons is I find that if the filler has gotten a little bit thicker, that it tends to fill the spirals better. Try it different ways. Use whatever method works best for you. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and let our fins and our tube fills, we're gonna let them dry completely. It may look like the filler is dry, but that's really just on the top. We want to make sure that the filler is dry completely through. If you do it too soon, you will find that as you begin sanding, that your sandpaper gums up with filler that's not completely hard, and you don't want that. 
So go ahead and make sure that the filler has dried completely before you start sanding. It'll make things a whole lot easier. So when we come back, we'll go ahead and we will start sanding down our fins and our body tube and our launch lug. We'll see you next time. Until then, take care.